Question number 15. Complete the values of y in table 1. So they want us to draw this graph. So we have to finish, uh, complete the table first. So I've already done the calculation for you all. So I'm just going to write here. Make sure when you calculate. Okay, so we have to rearrange this, uh, by the way. So y equals uh, 1 minus 3 sine 3 over 2. Okay, so this is your equation. Substitute all this x value uh, with x into here and then you calculate to see what you get for your y value so make sure your calculator format is in radian eh? because all these are in radian form okay so you will get your answer 1 negative 1.12 negative 2 negative 1.12 1 3.12 4 uh, sorry 3.12 1 negative 1.12 negative 2 negative 1.12 and 1 okay so finish the table question B okay they want you to plot the graph so they use the graph paper is provided okay so the scale given is 3 cm pi over 3 that's for the x-axis 2 cm 1 unit for the y-axis okay so we're gonna attempt to do that okay so I've already plotted the points for you so just make sure before you do right make sure your scale is correct so the x-axis the scale they said they are using is every 3 cm uh, pi over 3 units so 3 cm is 15 boxes huh? so here to here is 15 boxes so yeah pi over 3 2 pi over 3 then pi 4, over, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, and then 2 pi. And then the scale for y-axis, they said every 2 cm is 1 unit. So make sure 2 cm, 1 unit. 2 cm, 1 unit. Okay, so once you have plotted that, then you can plot the points, then you can draw. Okay, this is just, uh, I'm going to just roughly draw. You guys draw properly, huh? mine is just uh, rough. Okay, anyway, so this is how the uh, graph looks like. Okay, so we have drawn the line. So now question C. Say the equation of straight line to solve this equation. Okay, so the question is asking us to f draw another straight line okay so they gave us a new equation so what we have to do is usually this question right you want to link back to the original curve okay the original curve so okay wait, let me just copy this back so the equation given here is uh, c1 3 sine 3 over 2x equals 4x over pi minus 2 so you notice that you got the 3 sine 3 over 2x, which is quite similar to our, this one here, the original one. But this one is negative. Lah, okay. So what we can do is that we can, um, let's say we add a negative. Huh? So times negative. So when you times negative the whole equation, times negative 1, you get negative 3 sine 3 over 2x equals, so now negative will become 2 minus 4x over pi. Okay, so because this one becomes positive, this one becomes negative. Okay, next, we want to, we're still not the same yet, here still got the 1 here, so we have to add the 1. So we're going to add 1 on both sides. Okay, so add 1 here, add 1 here. So now what we have is negative 3 sine 3 over 2x plus 1 equals to 3 minus 4 4x over pi. Okay, so this one now becomes identical to the curve there. 1 minus 3 sine 3 over 2x. Okay, yeah. So if I write the 1 in front, it becomes the same. Lah. So it looks like this. 1 minus... Okay, so now it's identical. So this one, this part will become y based on the based on the equation up there 
okay y equals to 1 minus 3 3 sine 3 over 2x so now you get this line so this line is the equation of the straight line okay so this is the answer already they just ask you to find the equation the suitable straight line equation to so this answer okay question two okay once you find the equation they're not going to stop there for sure they will want you to draw the straight line to solve this so that means they want you to draw that line when they ask you to solve what they're asking you to do is they want you to draw this line on that together with the curve and find where is the intersect okay find the intersect so let us uh, do that together so to solve this we need two points at least two points okay at least two points so that we can plot the the graph so which two points is up to you which one you want uh, in my case i'm going to use zero x equals zero and x equals to pi so when x equals to zero i got pi for the y value when x equals to pi oh wait sorry, sorry my bad i saw wrongly uh x equals zero y equals to three x equals to pi y equals to negative one okay so we're going to plot this on the graph and find where is the intersect okay all right so i've already plotted the two points for you okay this and this so just now we said that when x equals to zero y equals to three and when x equals to pi y equals to negative one okay so these are the two points that i've plotted for you all so now we can plot the graph so the straight line graph let me use a different color Okay, so from here, oh wait, too light, wait a Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, we plot this line. So now you can see what is the x value. So the x value is quite close to 2 over 3 pi. I think it's um just one box before. Okay, so one box before, so that means the answer is okay so actually this one is a bit difficult to count but what we can do is you see uh, we all know that this one is 15 every 3 cm is pi over 3 right just now they stated that every 3 cm is pi over 3 so 3 cm is 15 boxes correct so what we can do is we can find one box so to find one box we take 3 pi over 3 divide by 15 so you will get uh, pi over 45 Okay, so that means each box each tiny box represents pi over 45 So since this one the intersect here that we found is actually one box before 2 pi over 3 so we can take 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 45 So based on my calculation, I got 29 over 45 pi So that will be the x value so the answer that we got is x equals to 29 over 45 pi okay so this is i mean as long as your answer is close to this should be okay like you can you can convert it to decimal to check whether it's similar with mine or not okay but anything close should be correct this they asked I, I didn't change it to decimal because the question is asking find the value of x in terms of pi so i have to leave it in terms of pi okay so when you calculate you want to check with mine you just turn it into a decimal and see whether it's similar or not okay so this is how you do it